Welcome back to Cox Connections, a program that provides up-to-date information on events that affect you, our customers. About 13.2% of all youth in Hampton Roads between the ages of 14 and 24 are neither employed nor in school. This is what's called the cycle of disconnection. These youth age out of childhood without direction, savings, or success skills. Here in Hampton Roads, Together We Can Foundation Smart Transitions is making sure that does not happen. Here to tell us more is Executive Director Tom Crockett. Tom, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So I've heard this term disconnected youth. Who are they? And tell us a little bit more about what that term means. Uh, as you mentioned, disconnected youth are youth who uh, age out um, uh, without a, a lot of skills or planning uh, and, and often end up uh, homeless, incarcerated, uh, unemployed, uh, uh, victims of substance abuse, and often exploitation. Um, the, um, the official definition, um, as we said, is 14 to 24. Uh, in our area, that skews, that's about, as you said, I think 13.2%. Um, about 10% is um, uh, the white population, um, about 19% African American population. So it's a population that goes across racial boundaries, um, but, um, uh, but it's a big issue for us. And what does Together We Can do to address the issue of disconnection? We focus on success skills because a lot of these, these young people don't have strong skills to be successful in the adult world. The two big areas that we focus on are planning because if, if you have a strong family safety net, it kind of, it's okay if you don't have a plan or if your plan, you try a plan and it fails because you've got that got family that. to support you. Yep. Um, these kids are one failure uh, one bad plan away from being completely adrift. And the second piece we focus on is uh, personal presentation skills. So you were telling me earlier the rate of employment um, for, for these kids is really, really low, but after you work with them, um, it boosts that up. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, these kids, um, the risk factors for disconnection are foster care, involvement in the juvenile justice system, poverty, family homelessness, dropping out of school with no diploma. So it's a hard group to find, find work. Um, they, uh, on average, without any intervention, are probably at around 16% have worked by the age of 25. Uh, with uh, kids who have been through one of our programs, it's about 76%. So, That's uh, an incredible difference. So you really are impacting these kids at a time when it can make a difference for them. That's what we're aiming for, yes. Um, and I know that uh, one of the areas that you work with the kids on is personal presentation. Tell us a little bit more about that. We focus a lot on helping kids understand what their personal brand is. Uh, most human uh, resources people will tell you when they go to interview you, they know within the first 30 to 60 seconds whether you're a potential hire, which means they're looking at a lot of how you dress, how you hold yourself, how you speak, a lot of things before you even get to the interview questions. So we want to focus with the kids on, on what are your strengths? W what are the three things you can best sell about yourself? Uh, we talk about in an interview setting, you've got to first appear qualified, second appear attractive, and third be memorable. You know, a qualified for, for the job. That's great information for anybody looking for a job. <laughs> yeah, uh, so qualified for the job, um, attractive, not beautiful or handsome, but just, you know, how you dress, how you hold yourself, and then memorable. Do they remember you in a positive way? And you were telling me earlier, um, one of the ways that you work with these young people is sort of helping them identify their GPA. Tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, we have a different, uh, different uh, meaning for GPA, which is what are your gifts, what are your passions, and what are your aspirations? Gifts are the things you're good at, aspira uh, passions are what you love to do, aspirations what you want out of life. And when those three things align, you've got a good plan for yourself. 
And so um, working to, to help kids understand those three things, if you have an aspiration, but you don't really have a gift in that area, it, is that a sound plan? Right. A, a good example, if I asked a young man, what are you good at? I'm good at playing video games. What do you love to do? I love to play video games. Okay, what are your aspirations? I want a penthouse apartment and to drive a Ferrari and there's a disconnect between those two things. On the other hand, if you took the thing you love to do and the thing you're good at and said, all I really need to be happy doing that is a simple apartment with a good video gaming system, do that. Do that until, you know, that's an easy goal. You just align one of those. Of course, don't get married right. <laughs> or well, have kids. That's a whole different conversation. <laughs> right. <laughs> And how do you identify the young people who you work with? We take referrals from juvenile justice, human service agencies, school systems, uh, um, housing and redevelopment authority. We work with different community partners all across Hampton Roads to identify groups of youth. And then we go in and do small workshops, small groups at a time, which again is I think one of the reasons we're so effective is that we don't broadcast, we're not broadcasting to big assemblies. We're working with small groups intensely over a period of time. And about how many youth every year do you reach through your programs? Well, I actually just ran the numbers for us and we, we reached 848 youth this year between our LifeWork portfolio class, our Smart Money class, which is financial preparation, and a program we have called Equine Youth Challenge, which brings kids from the inner city out to work with wild horses and to, to train and, and learn about caring for them. Are there other ways that you reach youth? Yeah, because it's a, a, a large population, as you might imagine, there are about 36,000 kids across Hampton Roads who fit that description wow. of disconnected. We can't reach all of them. So we've developed guides, uh, our Get Set Guide, a smart guide to adult life, and our Get Work, which is how to find a job, keep a job, and build a career, and then a workbook to go along with those. And we've do training for the school systems, we do training for parents, uh, for uh, staff, uh, youth program staff, so that they have a tool to actually have those, we call them transition conversations. It sounds like really an incredible program that's doing great work to help these young people to be um, successful and develop a plan for their future success. Thank you so much, Tom, for the work that you're doing to get are young people headed really in the right direction. Well, thank you for helping me get the word out. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Cox Connections. As always, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you chose us, we pledge to be a friend you can trust. We promise to provide you with innovative products backed up by a talented local team of professionals that will help you stretch your dollar. And we promise to continue to make a difference in the Hampton Roads community. From all your friends and neighbors here at Cox, we thank you again for joining us on this edition of Cox Connections.